this is James from JTP Machinery. Today we're going to have a look at an RX60 tractor, or an RX6030, RX8030, RX7030. A similar platform, a few differences, but I'm just going to have a quick look at the hydraulic remote system. There's a couple of things you need to know. So first of all, if we look at this tractor, we have two pairs of hydraulic remotes. This one here is double acting um, without a detent and no float so I'll explain that a little bit later so if with, with this system if you push this lever one way you can hear you can hear the engine load up and you can hear the relief valve kick in um, a bit of a hissing sort of sound and you hear the engine revs drop so that means that we're going through the emergency pressure relief valve um, and that valve is not designed to run all day long um, after on any brand of tractor after a couple of hours of uh, at full revs under load um, you will damage the hydraulic system if you leave that remote locked in position or jammed in position like that it doesn't matter what size what brand um, the remote hydraulic system is not meant to dead end like that so in any tractor whenever I hop on I always make sure that these remote levers are in the neutral position and I'll explain that a little bit more now so let's look at this remote lever it actually has a couple of different positions so it's in neutral at the moment if I push it that way again you can hear the engine revs drop down you can hear the relief valve go off that's a detent position, so you can see that it locks into that position. The reason it does is if you have something that needs to be continuously powered off the rear of the tractor, like a backhoe, for example, or a log splitter, you connect that implement up, you push that in the detent position, and it will power that in implement continuously. So it relies on the implement then being able to cycle the oil out through its system and then back into the return side of of this control valve um, which you won't you won't hear the pressure relief valve go like that or the engine load up you shouldn't if it does you've got a problem so the valve on the implement or the, whatever you connect to the back of the tractor should be able to return the oil in a loop without restriction unless of course you're using the levers which is a normal part of the usage and you expect to hear the relief valve activate when you hit the end of a cylinder stroke or something but again just to reiterate on that um, you don't want to hear it loaded up like that continuously it's all right for a minute or a few minutes um, a couple of hours of, of continuous uh, pressure relief like that and you'll heat the hydraulic oil up red hot um, and you'll start to damage the hydraulic system I've seen plenty of brands of tractors over my working career with uh, completely failed hydraulic pumps and hydraulic systems because somehow either inadvertently or intentionally someone's had the, the remotes locked on um, and like I said again it only takes a couple of hours normally somewhere to, around two to three hours for it to start doing damage you drive it around for a day like that and you're pretty much guaranteed of destroying your hydraulic pump so always important again I'll say it again Make sure these levers are in the neutral position and you can't hear the engine load and you can't hear the relief valve, the hiss of the relief valve. Sometimes they squeal. Every tractor's a little bit different. Every brand's different, but that's what you're looking for. So with this second remote, we're going to have a look at the positions. Again, this is a this is an RX6030 cab tractor. The Rox tractors are the same format, slightly different layout. Um, but it's all the same concept and even through different brands it's they're all very similar so again let's look at this position we could activate a ram there's a little picture of a ram there so a hydraulic cylinder if we want to be technically correct um, if I push it that way and I have uh, that hydraulic coupler connected to one side of the ram I have this hydraulic coupler connected to the other side when I push it this way the ram goes out that's neutral, when I push it the other way the ram goes in or vice versa depending on which way you plug it in. So that, that's all down to you, which way you plug that hydraulic 
cylinder in or the implement in and that can be important for example with a backer or a log splitter that has its own hydraulic control valve um, they're designed to only flow in one direction so you have to make sure that when you engage that that the backer moves the right way or the log splitter moves in the correct direction based on which way you're pushing the lever if it doesn't then you need to switch it the other way if it has a detent not every tractor has a detent sometimes you've got to make something up to hold it in the on position so hopefully that that's sort of giving you some clarity on, on that um, the other thing we need to look at on this particular setup is a float position and what the float position allows the hydraulic system to do is exactly what it says float so it'll let oil flow in and out of that system backwards and forwards with no real restriction um, so essentially that ram if you grab the ram and physically push it in and out if you could uh, it'll move in and out with no no pressure on it and no restriction on it you're just basically pushing the oil backwards and forwards through the valve so on on this and on most setups you've got your neutral then you've got detent position you can hear the engine load you can hear the valve if I go one further we're in float and what you would have noticed that the engine revs have gone back to normal idle and you can't hear the hydraulic system pressure relief valve go off you can't hear the hiss I'll show you again so we're in we're in neutral there we're in the first detent and now I'll go into float which just lets it float so let's do that again neutral detent oils being forced through the pressure relief valve it's dead ending the system because there's nothing plugged into this tractor um, you know, again that's all right for a couple of minutes a few seconds whatever now we'll go to the next step which is the float position and this detents into the float so it locks into the float position I've got to push the lever with a fair amount of force to get it to go past that detent and all the detent is is a little ball and a spring that drops into a slot and just makes it hard to push it out of that spot it just holds it in there with some amount of force um, I've seen on different tractors where they they get a bit of rust or something forming from condensation or moisture in the end of the valve um, that can rust that detent up and it's nearly impossible to to pull them out of the detent position in that case you've got to pull the, the cover off the end of the valve clean the, clean the rust out and grease it and put it back together um, that can happen on most brands tractors it's not an uncommon thing um, the other thing that can happen is your adjustment on this lever most most of these levers will have a cable that connects it to the remotes at the back we'll have a quick look so you can actually see the cable on here and I'll move it so you can see that you can actually see the cable move that's pretty clear and open sort of setup. It's easy to identify. Now what can happen is that nut could come loose down there. I'm just trying to focus on it a bit. Um, there's an adjustment nut there. Now it's important to know that if that nut does come loose, either from you know years of vibration and pushing it around or it hasn't never been tightened up properly, then your adjustment can go out and what'll happen is that center position of the valve will essentially move so this lever you could actually have a situation where this lever is in the on position but the valve's in neutral or vice versa it's the valve the lever looks like it's in neutral but because this adjustment is out or the cable the cable has been stretched um, or something damaged the in the cable mounting system where it bolts in or the outer casing is pulled away because it's it's really tight from rust or someone's forced it too hard you can stretch the cable so it could be in the neutral position according to the lever i'm just going to close this window it can be in neutral according to the lever but you'll hear this 
you'll hear the engine load up and you'll hear the relief valve and it looks like it's in neutral but it's not and that can happen on any tractor um, so it is important to, to have your ears trained to train yourself um, to be familiar with that sound of the engine loading and the hydraulic system relief valve um, and on any track that you jump on just make sure that your levers are in neutral look different tractors have levers in different spots but it's always a similar principle sometimes they're at the back of the tractor behind, next to the seat uh, sometimes they can be down beside the seat you just need to identify that they are remote levers for hydraulics on the rear how they work what neutral is do they have detents do they have a float position and once you've ascertained all of that then you can make sure that these levers are used in the correct manner and most importantly when they're not being used that they're in the neutral position and you don't hear that all right thanks for watching and uh, i'll try and do some more videos in the future james from jtp machinery